Hey everyone, welcome to this new um, video on solving simultaneous equations using the substitution method. So I'm just going to talk about introductory level substitution equations that only require linear methods, not quadratics. Okay, so normally I, for any equation in this form, ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c are numbers, I would always use elimination. Okay usually much cleaner. But the only times substitution may be beneficial or quicker is if A or B, one of these numbers in front of X or Y is one or negative one. If these numbers are not one or negative one, anything other than those two, then substitution method, sorry, substitution method will be very annoying, right? It's gonna involve fractions, okay? So what we're gonna do first, the reason why we use substitution is we make x or y the subject in the equation where a or b is 1 or negative 1, right? So, to look at this example here, we have 3x minus y equals 7, 2x plus 5y equals 33. Oh, yeah, don't forget to label the equation as I've mentioned in the elimination method question um, video. So notice the coefficient of y is negative 1, so substitution can be used here. Like, you can use substitution in any, but substitution may be quicker here. Okay, so we've got 2 and 5, we can't make any of the subjects. So because we've got negative 1 here, we can make y the subject. So how I would do that is I'd take y over here by adding it and then removing some back over here. So this turns into y equals sorry, 3x minus 7. So that's my first equation still. I've right, just, I just um, rearranged so y is the subject. The substitution requires we have one letter the subject by itself, which means we're going to substitute this now, step two, into the second equation. Right? And we're going to use brackets. So instead of writing y as this, we're going to put it in brackets. So I'm going to write what I'm doing. Sub one into two. So it's two x plus five brackets, three x minus seven equals 33. Very crucial to have the brackets here, otherwise, you might get a little operation wrong. You might be five times three and you don't times the seven. So now step three, at this point, you should have an equation in one variable only, in this case, x. So we can expand, simplify, and solve for x. So expanding, we have 15x minus 35. So this turns into 17x. If I bring minus 35 over, it equals 68. Divide by 17, it is Four, right, nice number. So last thing we're going to do, step four, is once we have the one variable, we're going to substitute it, not into one of these, but into this equation right here, because I already have y as the subject. If I substitute here, I'm going to do some work to solve for y, but y is already the subject, so now I can just write sub into one, and I write y equals three times four minus seven, 12 minus 7 equals 5. And then my two solutions. So you see, if this was a minus 2, it wouldn't work nicely because that, at this stage I'd have a 2 and then I'd divide by 2. So these equations would involve fractions. So equations involving fractions are going to be prone to lots of errors. So in case this is a 2, I would go to the elimination method, right? Elimination method's designed, well, the elimination method works better for these anyway, but in this example, substitution works well because the coefficient is negative 1. So when it's 1 or negative 1, substitution works really well. And um, for actually advanced level, um, sometimes equation that involve quadratics, um, you're going to need to use substitution methods. So substitution method is best for the hard type of simultaneous questions, but for basic linear ones, ax plus by plus c, elimination is nine out of time, sorry, nine out of ten times better. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial on solving substitution method, um, sometimes equation step by step. If you did, make sure to like, and comment and subscribe to get more awesome math tutorials. Make sure to share with your friends so they can learn as well. And comment on what you want to see next, right? All right, guys, till next time.